What's up guys, welcome back to the house. I got this melee jab here with me today. We're gonna drill a massive weight hole in the side of it, fill it with some nuts and bolts, and see if that helps or hurts this thing when it goes down the lane. I'm gonna try and line up, show you guys what this ball does before we make it illegal. That way you guys can have a really good comparison of what happens after it's illegal. I think like 18 out to like eight. Does that count as being lined up or no? Are you saying that doesn't count? Now I'm actually going about 15 to like six, seven. All right, so finally, uh, we've reached a spot on the lanes where I'm comfortable saying that is where I would play with that ball right now. So now let's go make this thing illegal in the pro shop. Huge weight hole couple bolts in there. And what we're doing with that is adding a ton of side weight, uh, hopefully making the ball hook more. And then from there, I'll show you guys what it does on the lanes. So what I'm doing here with the pencil and the Prosect, I'm gonna measure over to my PAP, which is your positive axis point. So when I throw a bowling ball, that's where the ball spins around. Um, I'm gonna measure that. I'm just gonna drill as big of a hole as I can right in that spot. And I'm gonna put these bolts right on my positive axis point. Um, that way it takes the majority of the weight towards that spot. Stack these in there, something like this. Yeet. I don't know, Matt, how did we get the idea? Let's, let's turn this camera on you. So back in high school, my buddy Billy and I were in the pro shop. A customer brought in a ball to get drilled and Billy was drilling out the plug and all of a sudden we heard a eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I could hit my target down lane every shot and we'll see what the ball can do. The fin like the ball freeze framing when it's going off the deck has got to be like tackling the nine pin every time. It has to. If I want to shoot 200, I got to probably triple or throw a couple doubles. So I'm just going to keep going right. Why dial the hand down when you can just keep going right? Well, I guess I was standing on 13 to start, so now I'm standing on 23. So I've moved a total of 10. Push. See the 10 pin? Just late. Yeah, the ball's definitely driving. Yeah, I don't know if it's the extra weight or the where the weight is in the ball that makes it do that, but I don't care. I'm gonna find a way to match this and throw it in PBA competition because according to all of you Purple Hammer haters, I'm a cheater. The flare rings were much, much closer together before that. They were kind of, it probably was about half that size. Yeah, usually balls that flare more try to hook earlier, which is what I think this ball is doing, but the cover stock is a little flippier, so it's still hooking a lot down lane, not just like a big ball would where it would hook early and kind of make a very smooth motion. Oh, that's such a bad shot. I'm a two-handed lefty. I put bolts in my ball. I'm going Brooklyn. Is there anything else I could do? Like, what can I, what else? Could, please, let me know down below what more I can do to be cheating. Could I put a third hand on it? I don't know. So Matt did bring the inspiration to this video. Have you guys ever seen anybody like that you know for a fact? Not like, oh, he was cheating, but like, you know for a fact that either someone's done something like this, or feel free to share your story down below. I'll try and read as many as possible. That's in Brooklyn again. That's a ripoff, that's what that is. I'm allergic to missing spares. I'm gonna go another three to the right, so I'll be 18 for the right of where I was standing earlier. Obviously rotating it a decent amount more, but it keeps hooking, so I'm gonna keep my eyes a little closer to me. That is the spot where I feel like I'm lined up at. Maybe I would go a little further left and like play a little straighter, but for right now, just to show you guys how much this ball can hook. Is it is it hooking more than what you expected? Yeah. I thought it would hook a little more. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, and it's clearly making a massive difference. And like every time I get like that. That was actually like decently online, but just a little too much rotation. I got around it a little early, and it like, Nice down lane. That's a big time spare. Spare for 200. As I said, I mean, I am allergic to missing spare. That's Brooklyn again. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. Thank you guys for watching. That was my super illegal bowling ball. You watch us put some bolts in it and create a massive amount of side weight. Let us know if you've seen anyone cheat or do something similar to this down below in the comments. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget, if you guys want to see a little more extra content, a little more behind the scenes stuff, you can follow us along down below in the link at The House Extras. And until the next one, peace.